we've been wondering for months now how long it is going to be until Season 4 of The Dragon Prince is released. It has been over five months and there has hardly been anything more than a peep. Part of that is due to the pandemic, but not all of it. They haven't even announced a fourth season yet. It's not like Netflix needs to get a bunch of people in a huge room just to decide whether the show is going to be renewed or cancelled. The company has already renewed other shows. There is absolutely nothing holding Netflix back from announcing that there will be a fourth season of The Dragon Prince. But since we have so little information, the best we can do is speculate on what secret Season 4 of The Dragon Prince is going to reveal. Much of this depends on the graphic novel that spans the period between Season 3 and Season 4 that will be released in late summer. That is not necessarily unprecedented, as Avatar The Last Airbender's writers released comics detailing what happened between the fall of the Earth Kingdom at the end of Season 2 and Aang waking up at the beginning of Season 3. However, while I recommend that you read this graphic novel so as to satiate yourself during the long gap between Season 3 and the mythical Season 4, it will probably not be absolutely essential to read the graphic novel in order to understand Season 4. While there might be a few interesting callbacks to the graphic novel, just like how having Callum, who is voiced by Sokka's voice actor from Avatar, talk about a boomerang, Sokka's weapon from Avatar The Last Airbender, is a nice callback for Avatar fans. But none of this will be essential to the overarching narrative. It's not crucial. Most Dragon Prince fans are likely not as dedicated as you are, person watching this video. They do not religiously watch analysis videos of this show, and they would not know what to make of having to read something outside the show in order to comprehend the events of the show. So with that in mind, what kinds of clips can we expect to see in the trailer? I would not be surprised if the trailer started on Erevas in his cocoon. This is where the last season of the show ended. While it is clear that Erevas is a conniving, manipulative villain, not much else about him is clear. We don't know a lot. The search to understand the true nature of Erevas will likely be one of the driving narrative threads in Season 4, with the other being what is going to happen to Claudia now that she has abandoned entirely the righteous path and given herself to darkness. She ended Season 3 on a dark rampage, trying to kill Ezrin, then turning on Soren for protecting his king instead of siding with her. Already, she has proved herself too willing to dabble in the Dark Arts, even reviving Viren, her father, at the end of Season 3 with these skills. Aside from Viren and the cocooned Erevas, she has no one on her side. Though she does not trust Erevas because of how he instrumented her father's descent from a utilitarian and kind of brutal but nonetheless interesting and compelling character to a blindly devoted puppet of Erevas, she is likely going to do a lot more research on Erevas. We don't know what powers Erevas has inside his cocoon. Could he stop her from finding the information she wants on him, as he did with Viren? Or could he do something even more clever and manipulative, such as 
rigging Claudia's search so that the only books she finds about Erevaz are those that have a favorable opinion of Erevaz. Either way, expect the trailer to reintroduce Claudia as a major threat and a more important character than Viren going forward. Picture a trailer in which our heroes celebrate their victory, while far in the distance dark and unsavory forces plot their domination, and our heroes slowly but horrifically realize the terror that is about to unfold. It would be a brilliant way to introduce Season 4 after a long absence. So thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Donate to my Patreon if you can and you want to see more videos like this. Keep watching The Dragon Prince. It is a brilliant, compelling, intelligent show, and it deserves a lot more attention than it's gotten. It's really good, and I really hope it gets its full seven seasons. Anyway, tune in soon for my next analysis. It will be coming soon. I promise you that. Thank you all again. Adios, comrades.